All right, here he goes. Boom, gets a taunt and charges in. All right. Who does that remind you guys of? Hint, hint. What up guys, me and the boys are back in town with a brand new hero guys, uh, Rhino is in the game right now, just released today, so we're about to go ahead, we're gonna make some pulls here, and see how lucky I am guys, while I'm talking here, I'm pretty sure the maximum that we can do here is 4 stars, so we're aiming for 4, I hope, let's see, 6 on that one, eh. now Kurt, ooh 20 on the second pull, boom, we already got him guys, ooh, that was pretty easy, so currently right now I'm saving resources for Phoenix, which should be out in two days. So it'll be a little bit interesting to see how far I can take Rhino here. I'm not going to go too crazy with Rhino, but I want to take a look at his abilities and see what this guy is all about. Because uh, Sinister 6 looks pretty interesting and so does this drop. Woohoo! Oh, big 40 right there. Beautiful. We still got about 8 more. Ugh. All right, let's do it for the boys here. Mm. Oh, God, that's painful. That's just painful. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, gold, gold, gold. What? Only 145. Why could that gold not be in the middle? That would have meant it was most likely about 180 drops. Damn, does, has anybody ever gotten 180 drops in these campaign heroes i doubt it but you never know all right last one here can we get a little lucky 10 all right not the greatest pulls but not the worst ones either guys so there it is let's recruit rhino onto the team here and now we officially have every hero other than the phoenix Ooh, i can't wait for phoenix but here we go one star there's all the abilities of rhino and the sinister six tag is actually very intriguing to me guys but, to be honest, not really for many things. I'll get into that in just a bit later. Let me see how close I am to four stars here. What do we need? 80. I'm at 70. 10 more pieces. Oh my goodness. I'm so close. So close. When the campaign is out, this guy is going to be definitely four stars. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to level 50. Let's see. That's it. No, I'll drop a mill. I'll drop a cool mill. Ooh. Oh, it's 60. Yeah. 1.3, alright, I'll stay at that. I got enough gold, obviously, to max them out, but I'm not going to do it right now. Like I said, I'm going to save everything I got for Phoenix, and then everything left over is going to go into a bunch of different other characters. We'll see when that plays out, when that comes out. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and give... I thought they had an auto-equipped. They don't. Damn it. Marvel Strike Force, what are you doing? Get with the times, come on now. Auto-equipped, even the crappiest games have auto-equipped. Right? I mean, uh, how hard is an auto equip mine? Uh, I am kind of happy now they added a uh, favorite. As you can tell, you can favorite your heroes now. So that's interesting. And they also changed the way that you can, I guess, take a look at your characters through your roster, which is good because they do have a lot of characters now. So it's a little bit harder to go up and down and check, you know, check all the characters. But right now we're at tier three. Let's keep going here as far as I can go with the Rhino. A Rhino! And uh, his kit looks a little interesting, guys. Not only for the Sinister 6 tag. And as I was talking about before, Sinister 6 is interesting to me. For one thing only. I don't think they're going to be that great in the arena. Unless you're facing um, the defenders. It's going to be really, really good in Blitz. <laughs> because everything is defenders. So this team is going to be killing it in the Blitz. And they're going to do really good in War. Because you have a lot of defenders on defense in war as well. So, two different aspects that they'll be good at. Uh, they don't really look really, really good in raids. So, obviously, that's not going to happen. But two game modes out of the four possible game modes. It's not bad, guys. So, we'll take it. You get one really good punch into defenders in, your, in the war. And then you're going to get some really good damage. I mean, really good scores against defenders in your blitz so we're liking that right there let's go ahead and this is actually pretty tedious here jeez this reminds me of back in the day soul hunters oh man back back in the day before they added the auto equipped 
All right, so tier seven. Do we remain here? The one that I'm not going to use is ABCs. No ABCs, please. I mean, we're still in blue, so we're all right here. Tier eight. So we'll manage to go up to tier eight, and then we'll have to hold it right there because... Mm. All right, there we go. Let's leave him at tier eight here. Can I give him anything else for now? I mean, I'm sure I can give him... Ooh. Nope, nope, nope. We have to use some ABCs here. So before I get any further, let's leave him right here right now. He's okay. Now, let's take a look at his abilities. And we'll check these out in action as well. I'm going to upgrade him a little bit here. So uh, first ability, attack primary target for a certain percent of damage. And if you get him all the way to the end... Ooh, I got 2,588 purple knights here. But like I said before, I'm kind of just saving everything. I think I'm over saving, <laughs> but let's just wait because I do want to go, you know, all out on my um, X-Men. So let's just go with green and the uh, purple mats. I mean, uh, green and blue mats for now, and then we'll wait. Ooh, I overclicked on that. Okay, so let's get going on this. Boom. Boom. Eh, this is only 70. Uh, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. And then Rhino's Hide. Right, upgrade this a little bit. It's no! I didn't mean to do that. So on spawn, gain counter. Gain 10% max health per Sinister 6 ally on blind. Change speed bar by 50, uh, by 75%. On blind, clear one negative effect from self and each ally. Woo! And then uh, the next upgrade, 5% max per Sinister 6 ally. That's really, really good, guys. And then if you can 5-star this ability here, 10% max health per sinister six ally chain speed bar by 75 percent on blind wow that's really really cool against two separate opponents that i can think of right now uh magneto with one so that's really really good countering magneto's blinds and then you also have um mortal's blinds which a lot of people use that mystic controller uh team so that's pretty good right there guys but i want to take this guy in action and see what his animations are like so let's go all right, guys, so let's just take him into a battle now and take a look at his abilities one by one here. So uh, his basic is actually pretty basic. Uh, attack primary target for 290 damage. As you can see here, just bang, one uppercut to the face, and that's really all it is. I'll show you guys one more look here. Boom! 290% damage is actually pretty good. Not bad. So I guess it's okay for a basic, but not my favorite. Let's just move on to his second ability here. And um, his special ability has got a lot of good stuff about it. I really like this ability here. So first thing it does is gain taunt, which is always, always useful for a protector. You always need somebody that can taunt on your team. So for the Sinister Six, this is going to be really, really helpful. Uh, second thing it does is clear a negative effect from himself and each adjacent ally. So this is a little bit important. We'll talk about this in a little bit later, but clearing a negative effect on adjacent allies is very important. Because typically you want your tanks on either corner, guys. But not for this guy. You, This is why they put this in there. Because you want to put him now somewhere in the three slots in between. Which is not theoretically where you want your tank to be at. But anyways, let's just move on. It also attacks primary target and all adjacent targets for, for 350% damage, which is a whopping a lot of a damage there, especially if it's offense up and it cannot be blocked. So very interesting ability here. Let's take a look at how this ability works, but it does so many different good things here. There's this taunt and boom, there goes the charge right in between everybody taking people out. But wait a minute. Let's see that again here in a different battle. With another red beast. All right, here he goes. Boom, gets a stunt and charges in. All right. Who does that remind you guys of? Hint, hint. He's on the battle with him right now. Let's take a look at Magneto's ultimate here. That's the juggernaut, you dingleberry. No, Magneto, do your thing, you skiddly diddly do. Look at this. Boom. All right. So that is identically the same exact ability. They just switched up the names of the hero. How do I like that? How do I feel about that? Eh. <laughs> it's not that impressive, to be honest. But it does look cool. I like it. So, I guess it's fine. It does the job. He is a rhino, after all. So, he's going to charge in. And Magneto... Am I saying Magneto? Juggernaut. 
I apologize. The Juggernaut also charges in head first, so it's kind of identical. The good thing that I like about Rhino is it gets the taunt, uh, it clears off a negative effect, so it does a lot cooler things. But then again, this is a special, and that's Juggernaut's ultimate. Alright, so let's move on from that there. Alright, now we're going to break his ultimate ability here. Attack primary target and all adjacent targets for 380% damage. That is a lot of damage. Gain 20% damage per city hero enemy. So, this is why Sinister Six is made to counter city heroes such as defenders. Because of this ability, a lot of them, as you're going to see later on, a lot of them are going to gain extra damage when they're attacking city heroes. I like that. It's not bad. Really, really good. Let's take a look at it in action here. And another great thing about this is, this is also going to be offensed up. Boom! Boom! And boom. That is a lot of boom boom right there, guys. Right, so those are his battle sequence, guys. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, personally, I really think that this guy is going to be pretty cool. I love the look. They really nailed it. I'm just a beefy machine rhino. Looking awesome. And uh, let's break down his passive ability one more time here. Because this is really going to be important on how you uh, utilize this guy. On spawn, he's going to get counter. Gain takes 10% uh, max health per Sinister 6. When it's all said and done, I believe it goes up to 25% max health per Sinister 6, which I believe you're also going to use him on a Sinister 6 team. So 100% max health. going to make him last a lot longer, way more health. And then the, the interesting part is the blinds. This is where you can utilize this guy in a bunch of different ways. On blind, chain speed bar by 75%. Ooh. And then uh, if you max this out, 100% speed bar when he gets blinded. And then when he gets blinded, he clears one negative effect from himself and each ally. Now, it doesn't say Sinister 6 allies, so you can put him on any team to clear that uh, blind. Which is very, very important. I can't wait to try this guy out on a bunch of different teams and see how it actually works against like a Magneto and uh, Mordor or somebody like that. So, I'm curious about this passive here. And I can't wait for the rest of the Sinister Sticks to get released so I can start building my team so I can take out some defenders in there. But that's pretty much going to do it for Rhino, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys like Rhino? Do you have him yet? Are you going to wait for the campaign? Uh, like I said, all you really need to do is wait for him. You don't have to spend any money. Wait for the campaign and then slowly just start getting this guy up. Personally, uh, he's going to be one of my back burners right now until I finish the X-Men. But I can't wait for the rest of the Sinister Stick to come out, guys. So that'll be it for now. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.